first of all it is literal then identify then we have got uh, assignment or assignment operator so let's say if it is written a is equal to 5 or if it is written name is equal to zafar so let me tell you that this name the name of the variable either a or name itself they are called identifiers these values which are assigned assigned to these variables these are called literals Okay, and these signs, these are called assignment operators. Okay, what are these called? Assignment operators. Okay, so now we will see that how do we create these literals first. Let's say A is integer, then the literal would be A is equal to 5 or A is equal to 1003. This could be the way to assign an integer to a variable. If it is real, then I will write A, we are actually discussing literals. Then we will be like 3.9 or B is equal to 24.85. This is real literals. Then if it is currency, they will be also shown as real numbers okay currency is also shown as real numbers assigned means uh, then we have got character if it is pseudocode then character is assigned like this grade is equal to b in a single quotation mind it this is actually very important to remember then we assign a single character like grade or quality let's say c quality and if it is uh, uh, pseudocode, we use what? A single code. But if it is visual basic code, then a grade is equal to double quotation B. And quality. is equal to in double quotation C. Mind it, these ways of writing literals should be fully thoroughly known. All right, so visual basic, if it is visual basic, we will be using double quotation. If it is pseudo code, we will be using single quotation. Mind it, in exam, if you put double quotation for a character, your marks will be cut. 
all right now if it is a string a string will be assigned with double quotations let's say name is equal to tahir whether this is pseudo code or it is um, visual basic language the assignment of a string is always in double quotation now let me tell you in your syllabus a string has a significance and you would feel it later a string is a topic to be discussed okay we will discuss it how because if we are doing programming then this actually be uh, very important to understand and the topic name is a string manipulation we will be doing that so get the idea if it is character and it is pseudo code we use single quotation if it is character and it is visual basic we will be using double quotation if it is a string no matter if it is pseudo code or whatever we use double quotations now what is left boolean in pseudo code let's say ek hum likh lete graduated hum iske liye likhenge graduated is equal to true ab jab hum isko graduated is equal to true जब हम ट्रू और फॉल्स लिखते हैं और सूडो कोड में लिखते हैं तो हम उसको हैश साइन में डाल देते हैं हैश टैग नहीं कहिएगा इसको टैग नहीं है इट्स अ साइन पाउंड साइन और हैश साइन सो अगर हम बना रहे हैं एग्जाम पास एक वेरिएबल हमने क्रिएट किया एग्जाम पास तो हम वहां पे यहां पे लिखेंगे फॉल्स ओके okay. तो अगर हम एग्जाम पास लिख रहे हैं तो हम उसको सिंपली क्या लिखेंगे फॉल्स ठीक है अगर ये विजुअल बेसिक होगी तो फिर हम ये नहीं लगाते फिर हम यहां पर लिखेंगे इज लेट से वेरिएबल का नाम है इज फी पेड तो हम यहां पर लिखेंगे ट्रू विजुअल पैसे गो दिस वे इस फी पेट हम क्या लिखेंगे ट्रू यहां पर हम हैश का साइन इस्तेमाल नहीं करते सिमिलरली इफ इट इज डेट then let's say date of birth is equal to 10 8 15 if it is written we will have to put it in pound sign we will have to put it in pound sign okay so date of birth ko hum pound sign mein likhte hain 